Hi, my name is Tim Goslin. I provide location advice to building owners and occupants of commercial real estate. And you are listening to another edition of Tim Talks. The, the tip and topic of today's video is going to be on the partial repeal of the Prop 13 property tax measure that was put uh, that was passed back in 1978. But before we get to that uh, tip and topic of this video, wanted to touch base on the video studio that I'm recording in today. It's a office building in Rancho Bernardo. It's a submarket in uh, city of San Diego building uh, that I recently uh, have listed for sale. If you're looking for a broker opinion of value on your building, please give me a call. So on the tip and topic regarding the Prop 13 repeal, or at least a partial repeal of it, a split tax rule is what they're calling it. Uh, in 1978, there was a ballot measure that was approved. It's called Prop 13. It means your property taxes can increase no more than 2% per year. So they're looking to repeal a portion of that, and the part that they want to repeal would be the commercial real estate portion of it. So how would this affect someone who owns a building or a tenant that is occupying space in a building? Well, there's a couple of scenarios where this could really come back to, to have some negative consequences on the California economy overall. First, if you're, if you're a building owner and you've owned the asset 20 years or longer, very, very good chance the market has appreciated much quicker than what the current county assessed value of your building is at and that's because they are mandated they can't um, value the building more than two percent from the previous year if this measure gets approved this will be on the presidential election the november of 2020 um, uh, ballot that we'll all be voting on uh, if it gets approved then that two percent cap per year that that the county can assess your building that will go away so for those who have owned a building for a really long time, you have a low tax basis, which means you are going to have a nice bill the next time your property taxes are due. So what are you going to do? Are you going to just eat that bill and, and pay it yourself? Maybe you might if you're a really nice person. Most likely what you're going to look to do is you're going to look to pass that bill along to your tenants in some way, shape or form. If you like mechanics and techniques on how you can do that, please give me a call. We'd we'll be happy to give you guidance on that. Um, so when you have that increase, you're most likely going to look to pass that through to your tenants. Your tenants are now going to pay a higher occupancy cost for their space. Well, usually when, when expenses get passed through, it's usually the consumer of the, of the goods and services that consumes the product. They're usually the ones that ultimately end up feeling it at the end of the day. So I think this uh, partial repeal of the property tax bill is going to have wide-ranging tentacles that will have a negative impact on it. I just wanted to bring it to your attention. This is something that we're all going to be voting on in the next uh, presidential um, election. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you're having a wonderful day, a great spring season. Take care and God bless.